Hey you folks, Quilly Thien here, and welcome to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Cataclysm DDA, as it is normally written, is a proper sort of classic roguelike game, except instead of being a fantasy dungeon crawler, it is a post-apocalyptic zombie survival game. Um, and yeah, you know, zombie survival games are uh, maybe overdone these days, but C Cataclysm DDA has been out and being developed for quite some time now, and it is, like, very complex, very detailed, very hard, very unforgiving, and again, a true roguelike, which means it is sort of turn-based, um, permadeath kind of design, not one of these, like, twitchy platformers that call themselves roguelike because their levels are just randomized. I mean, come on, give me a break. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience in Cataclysm here. Uh, just dabbled a little bit to know enough of the controls, check the wiki for a few things. <laughs> Mostly I'm going into this relatively blind. So far in every single one of my attempts to play this game, I have died to my very first encounter with any kind of bad guy right away in the first day. Hopefully we're going to do a little bit better this time, cross our fingers, but I'm not going to promise a whole lot. <clears throat> I've already generated a world. It's interesting that when you do do that, um, you've got like, there's actually a bunch of mods and things that you can enable to mix the game up and uh, to make a different um, different sort of experience every time. So I've got a world um, and you can randomize a character, you can do whatever. I'm going to go ahead and make a custom character and get that set up over here. So, there are a lot of options for your characters. There's these uh, scenarios as well that you can use to change up, which uh, modifies what professions are available to, available to you, where you start, plus a few extra modifiers, like really bad day. You start drunk to the point of incapacitation, depressed, infected, surrounded by fire, naked, and sick with the flu. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the standard evacuee over here. You survived the initial wave of panic and have achieved relative safety in one of the many government evac shelters. So you start in an evac shelter, um, which is going to have a certain amount of resources around to get you started. So we're going we're gonna to get started with that. We've got some stats to assign. We have six points to spend, and this is going to be through a combination of stats, traits, professions, and skills. We have to uh, spend those points all over the place there. Now, interestingly, in traits, you've got positive traits over here on the left and negative traits over here on the right, and these will give you more points. Um, taking a glance at things, it looks like things like addictive personality is actually a relatively good negative quality to take because as long as you don't overdo it with drugs in the game then um you're probably not going to run into the addiction thing anyway i expect to not survive long enough to be uh, for this to be an issue so what the hell we're going to grab that um apparently too um <clears throat> hate vegetable might be fine there's apparently not that many veggies out there but we're going to leave that off uh, i'm going to take heavy sleeper because honestly, if someone th something's going to walk into my room at night when I'm sleeping, I'm probably dead anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and that's okay. I'm not going to take too many more things. I think people say, like, <clears throat> poor hearing is also pretty strong. But <clears throat> let's not let's not work too many things over there. Ah, fuck it. We'll take poor hearing. Who cares? Now I really won't wake up in the night. Um... And then there's some debate as to what the really good positive traits over here are. I, th I think most people agree that night vision is absolutely spectacular. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Um, I'm tempted to take something like uh, fast learner, fast healer. These are probably pretty good too. But I'm going to go for some raw stats instead. Uh, let's take a look at the profession first. Um, the survivor profession is the sort of default. It's got, you know, the base cost of zero points. Um, it doesn't start you off with any traits or skills, but you start with a decent amount of, uh, of items here. Boxer shorts, jeans, long sleeve shirt, pair of socks, winter coat, winter boots, scarf, pocket knife, clean water, and a matchbook. So that's pretty good. Whereas if we go down and say, look at the, the hobo, hobo starts with alcohol withdrawal. You have to keep drinking alcohol uh, to keep yourself from, um, from having a really, really hard time. You can eventually uh, break away from your addiction. Um, you, can, you can detox, but uh, hobo starts with particularly poor gear. Does start with some alcohol, though, so whiskey, gin, and cheap wine, and picking hobo would earn you one bonus point, for example. Um, I don't know if any of these cost points. But you can see there's a lot of options. Oh, yeah, some of these cost points. Uh, computer hacker, for example, he starts off with a bunch of computer skills. But no, we're going we're gonna to start with the default um, survivor profile. That's fine. Let me go back and get some stats in here. So... It sounds like everything's pretty good. A big question might be if you're going to lean towards melee combat, range combat, try to avoid combat very, very, very heavily. I think I'm going to go ahead and like assume I'm going to do some basic uh, melee combat early on. I'm going to bring my strength up to about 11. 
which uh, apparently is good enough to maybe get... Well, you can see, going from 8 to 9 doesn't give us melee damage bonus, but going from 9 to 10 does, going from 10 to 11 gives us another one, um, and then it keeps going up from there. So I'm going to go to 11. Um, I don't know if you need any dexterity. I think it does increase your accuracy even, yeah, in melee to hit bonus, but... Um, I'd need to put two points in here to get plus one, and I think we're going to leave it off. I, I think I do like the idea of getting a little bit of in extra intelligence uh, to help with apparently book reading, which I've never done in the game, but you know, whatever. And perception, um, you do have the ability to detect traps at a certain level. I think around like 10 becomes like very, very reliable, but we're not going to use ranged weapons, so I'm going to leave that off and like spend more on skills, baby. Um... I'm going to get a rank into dodging. I mean, I could spend some more too, but let's just dabble with it a little bit for now. Um, maybe put a rank into melee. First aid. Another rank in dodging. I'm really worried about surviving our very first encounter. Uh, a little bit of construction. Oh, a little bit of uh, mechanics for cars. Apparently, mechanic uh, car stuff is cool. So we'll dabble in a handful of different skills. All right, that sounds fine. Our name is going to be Quill, and we are going to go ahead and start with this survivor. So I do have the tiles build here as opposed to the ASCII one. Uh, can you zoom in? I wonder if there's a way to, to make this bigger because it does seem a wee bit small. Um, but here I am, right here, Quill. And I am in a survival shelter. It's got a row of four lockers at the top. There seems to be a computer over here. We've got a counter and some benches, some stairs going down to the basement. And then we've got... Uh, I need to hit them lock. There we go. I can uh, peek through the window over here. Oh, is that snow? Rain? I don't know. There's definitely some weather going on outside. So I'm opening some windows to take a peek. I can close them again. Uh, not all tiles are in here, which is a bit weird. These are pine trees. Okay. All right. No critters outside anywhere that I can tell so far. All right. What is this? Oh, an engine. So we can go and, like, fix up cars. I'm not going to go to the basement quite yet. There could be a zombie down there. I'm going to go ahead and risk being outside. And what I'm going to do is look for a rock. I want something that I can start smashing with. Um, I'm pretty sure it would stand out if I saw one. I really don't want to go too far away. Got some apple trees and things. I'm moving through underbrush, which is slow. Uh, we've got a heavy stick over here. Well, that's not bad. Oh, and there's a rock. Okay, good. I gotta do double click to go somewhere. So I'm gonna pick up the rock and I'm gonna pick up the heavy stick. There's another heavy stick, but I'm gonna go back into the shelter at this point. Uh, close the door, close the door, maybe even close the windows. Well, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, what I'm gonna do is wield the rock. I got a rock! Okay, so I'm wielding that, so now I'm going to smash a locker. Oh, this one's got some stuff in it. Um, open. How do I... Um, I can loot from there. Oh, examine. North. There we go. Yes? Hang on. What's the key? Because I can grab stuff from there. Can I just like, open the locker? No. I've picked this shit up before. From inside the locker. I know I can do it. Open door, close door, smash. I don't want to have to smash it yet. Pick up items. I'm, I'm using that, but grab something nearby. Shift G. No, I don't want to grab the locker. Oh, I can. Apparently, I can drag the locker. Stop grabbing it. Okay, I just want to... Examine nearby. Oh, there we go, in the top list. Aha. Um, no. Oh, and I have to pick... Yeah, okay, so when I examined over here in the top list, 
then I can pick stuff up or whatever. Um, so the blanket and the jacket, they're too heavy right now, but we'll get it. Okay, anyway, I want to use the rock to smash one of these lockers. Smash, 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 there we are. And we're going to be able to pick up some scrap metal, but what I want right now is the pipe. Uh, there we go. Mark and pick up the pipe. Okay, and now that I have a rock and a pipe, I can make a makeshift crowbar. Basically, I'll bend the pipe with the rock, make a makeshift crowbar, <clears throat> and then what I want to do is wield that. There we go. And I can probably drop the heavy stick for now. I can also make a pointy stick with it, but um, let's just go ahead and drop the pointy stick. Okay, so I'm wielding a makeshift crowbar. Let's go down to the basement and loot through there and see what we can get. And there could be some zombies. Are you kidding? Am I going to have like a totally empty basement? This has happened to me a few times. Uh, glove liners, a tent, a can of spam. Let's grab that, a little bit of food. I really need some containers though. Dance Dance is some sort of book, right? A lighter, that's probably pretty useful. We've got another t-shirt, but I'm okay with that. A screwdriver. And some vitamins. Vitamins are good. Really, there's no... What a crap-ass start. I've got no extra containers. Because um, I've got both a maximum weight and a maximum volume. I'm nowhere near my maximum weight. But my maximum volume... I mean, all I've got is pockets, really, in my jeans. Uh, which is the reason I can't haul the winter blanket around anywhere or anything like that. Now, I think I could tear some of this stuff up and craft with it. But yeah, did I? I see a wolf somewhere. I see a wolf. It's probably to our west. Um, there's a command. Move you north, east. There we go. So if I go... Um, What's, hold on, what's the direction for west? H? Okay. Oh, and J re-centers it? No, J goes down. That totally makes a lot of sense. I guess it's Vim keys. There we go. Bunch of wolves over here, so we're not going to go out the door that way. In fact, I'll close those two windows. And how do I recenter the view? Um, sure, semicolon. Or no, colon, actually. Should be doing this with my glasses. So I'm gonna have to leave a bunch of stuff behind, <clears throat> unless I can. Um, I don't know. Maybe a nearby building will have some a backpack or jack with extra pockets. All right. So there's a computer here. We can get some extra information. Yeah. Is there another functional computer down here? What is that? It's a broken console. All right, we're going to leave it for now. There might be something we can do about it. I'm going to leave east, away from the wolves. And actually, I should check the map out. So, can I get them? Oh, right, I can move around this way and get some information. That's a crater over here. Office tower. So, town is, what do we have here? Military bunker. Ooh, that's where I would love to go. Uh, going to town, there's an increased chance of zombies, of course. So, I, uh, but... I don't know, we're going to have to risk it here. This I do not like. I don't like the fact that I have to leave so much stuff behind. It's nice to know that there's an engine over there, though. I do have my crowbar to smash people with. Saving game. I'm going to try to avoid those wolves while moving mostly west. Spotted a black rat. More than one. Uh, we're just going to ignore those monsters. Those enemies, hopefully they don't come to me. There's a spider over there too. And what is this thing? <clears throat> a squirrel that is fleeing. A jumping spider. Man, there's critters all over the place here. Now, I think if I don't get too close, they won't necessarily come after me. That is... A, is it a zombie or... No, it's a squirrel. Some of the graphics get reused for multiple things. And that's just a squirrel over there. And what is this? Black rat. Okay, that's fine. Spot another black rat. We can go ahead and ignore that. Where am I right now? Okay. Well, I guess I can do some fast movement here. Oh, auto move canceled because more rats. I, sh I could potentially try to kill the rat. 
probably not too hard. Especially since he likes to run away from me. Swing wildly and miss. Swing wildly and miss. Maybe I needed more decks. Missed again. Torso encumbrance throws you off balance. Is it because I'm wearing a big winter coat? I think so. Alright, well, let's ignore the rat. So that's good to know that I can't fight in any way whatsoever. E. So let's see. The winter coat gives me a minus two to hit bonus. Ugh. Do have a scarf for some mouth protection. Minus three to hit bonus, but I don't know how much that deals with it. And yeah, you can disassemble items and get thread. Where's the map? <clears throat> Alright, keep hitting west. What do we have here? Squirrel, a crow, all of which are running away, and a rattlesnake. Uh, we spotted Amigo. I don't know what that is. Don't know where it is. Dog spotted. Okay. That spotted a spitter zombie. Shite. Okay. And another one. Where are they? Probably going exactly where I'm going. Is this a Humvee? Which appears to have a um, roof-mounted gun as well. Wow. Where do we actually enter here? This is a fence. Okay, so there's a gate here. So, can I apply my crowbar to the gate? Did I just unpack my folded blanket? What? Oh, it's N. N is one to use. N. Crowbar. Nothing to pry here. What is this? Reinforced glass. Concrete wall. Chain link fence. <clears throat> Locked wire gate, but apparently I can't actually pry it. From southwest you hear, it could even be a way of trying to scare us off. So there's a person in here. Keep spotting zombies. Okay, what is this? Spitter zombie. Hostile. I don't want to be spat at. An amigo who is fleeing. A flexuous monstrosity seeming as a giant crab covered in writhing antenna. Okay. Man, I can just smash my way through these fences, but it's probably a bad idea, right? Can I get in the Humvee? I think I'm climbing on top of the vehicle. Open. Door is already open. So how do I enter the vehicle? <clears throat> Control vehicle? So, the carrot key? No controls here. Open. Examine? Oh! Hey! Alright, examining the vehicle. So, what's the status of things here? Okay, I can't repair without more stuff. I can install... I can look through the vehicle at all the little bits and pieces. That's good. It's got no fuel, no batteries. There's the gun there. I don't even know if it has any bullets. Volume 0, 1600. So I assume it's got no bullets. Alright, well, this isn't working out either. Avoid the zombies there. There is an office tower. 
I'll probably just run into more zombies. What was this one? That's a squirrel. It's feline. I really should play this in uh, ASCII mode. These graphics are awful. Just terrible tiles. We were a long way from that office building. And I don't know anything about what's over here. I think if I had binoculars, it would help my uh, my mapping. Let's go down to the tower we know. Uh, spotted another spitter zombie. Presumably that was to the south because it happened while I was moving towards the south. Jumping spider. All right, let's move west instead. More zombies. More dogs. What is this blob? A saddle? All right. Gives you an idea of the sort of complexity available in the game. Spotted a wolf. All right, let's follow the road north. What's the temperature? Chilly and rising. So it's sunny outside. Is that my temperature? I'm chilly. And is the chilliness rising? Or is my actual temperature rising? I'm wearing a big coat, so... Zombie scientist! Oh, man. And another. Spotted manhack. The hell? I don't know what that is. Uh, there's a bunch of clothes over here that's just on the ground. Sunglasses, boots, shorts, dress, jeans, bra, lab coat, mangled human corpse. Inhaler, royal jelly, heavy power armor. What? Well, there's um a Graken. And it's fighting some zombies. And then the man hack, automated anti-personnel drone. All right, let's not freaking go that way then. Let's go into the wilderness. Could possibly go wrong. Giant wasp. All right, that's nice. What's over here? There's just more trees, yeah. Oh, they're houses and a little bit of a road. Yeah, I want to go that way. And I'm hoping I don't actually run into the giant wasp. Is that it over here? That's a fox. Yeah, I'm going to use ASCII characters on my next run through. Because this is just... Um, these graphics are awful. A smoker zombie. Excellent. So that's a moose. You got a car there. There's the smoker zombie. And a zombie child. I'm just going to see if I can stay away from the zombies. A spitter zombie. Excellent. Oh. The house is down here. Alright, so I'm in town proper, that's for sure. Okay. Is this the zombie? That's the spitter zombie, and it's definitely too close. So, let me... Why is it like that? Like, Let me drop the emergency blanket, and I'm going to take off the winter coat. Yes, drop it. Uh, and I think I've been spat at. Acid streak. Yeah. All right. Let's go melee. It is sunny and I'm warm. Good. Smash you. Oh, I suppose taking off the winter coat might have removed some of my, um, some of my armor. I whacked the spitter zombie for 12 damage. Excellent. But, uh, I'm currently blind blinded because the spitter hit my eyes. But and then I got my vision back. Okay, that's good. I whacked it for 16. Then I block a bit of its damage. Uh, you'll note that by default, you don't get your stats about your hit points. Uh, we have taken some damage to the head, though, and we've got some pain going on, so that's not great. I whack it some more. It's my leg. Okay. I whack the zombie. It's leaking acid. That's uh, very pleasant. Um, we're going to go and... Um, 
<coughs> excuse me, we're going to grab the winter coat and let's put it on right away. Now, I think that zombie corpses... Oh, okay, the zombie just melted away. Uh, sure, we'll take the cash card. I don't think it matters terribly much, but I think you do have to chop that up. So we've left the emergency bl blanket out there. Um, this is a window. We can smash it. We can also pry it with the crowbar. Yeah, I really don't want to fight more stuff. We're going to apply our crowbar to the window. Pry it open, which should be less loud. It had a crunch, but at least it wasn't a smash. And then close the window. Okay. What do we have in here? A pair of sneakers. Saline eye drops. Might be a good idea. I wonder if I should apply it now. Is there a way to get, like, information about my personal status here? Like, a, just a description of how I feel? Peek around corners is shift X. Okay. Player info at sign. That's what I'm looking for. Effects warm. I'm warm in both feet. I think because I'm wearing winter boots. And I got some pain, a little bit hot, and the pain, huh, warm, falling. All right, what do we have here? A bed, right, sneakers, um, a dresser, oops, hit the wrong button, it's an empty dresser, spotted a zombie, yes, we did. All right, looks like he busted his way through. Smashing, I think, the curtains, which has resulted in some sheets, some glass shards, heavy stick, long string. Okay, we're going to go, we're going to take off our, um, I don't know, maybe we'll leave the jacket on for extra armor. Let's go deal with him. It would have been nice if he'd still been on the surface, because I think he would have fought worse. He just bit my leg. That's great. I'm sure I won't become a zombie as a result of that. Uh, did I just take more head damage? Yes, I did. My head's heavily damaged, as is. Okay, we got him. Um, butcher? No, that was the wrong key. Butcher, shift B. Yes, butcher the zombie. Okay, now, what's here? Aspirin! Oh, that's a great idea! Holy cow, that's excellent, because, yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty hurt. Um, let's get that. Jeans and the flip-flops are pretty torn up. I think the bones, I think we can make stuff with it. Plus, we've got stuff in this tile here. Glass shards, the sheets, and the string. I don't know if we can carry all this, but... Um, no, don't put on the sheet. I don't want to be a ghost. Uh, no, don't wield it. No, okay, so we can't do it. But can I craft if I'm standing on something? Hmm, I don't know. Like a cudgel, a rock and a sock, and a pointy stick. Oh, that's under the weapon category. There's more stuff here. Ammo darts, okay. Food, new, chems, electrical, armor, and other. Armor, what is this? All right, headgear. Yeah, I don't know if we have any head protection. Rider mask. T-shirt with sleeves tied to the back. Yeah. Uh, covers the head, the eyes, the mouth. This is the mouth. And what am, do I have anything that covers my head right now? No, I have the scarf, which covers the mouth only. So I should indeed make a rider mask. I mean, it doesn't have a huge amount of defense, but it covers my bits and pieces a little bit. Okay, crafted it. Um, so we're going to... Oh, I'm going to take an aspirin right now. Take some aspirin. Pain hasn't changed, but hopefully soon. Maybe I should take more. I don't know. Uh, inventory. 
rider mask. And we're going to wear that. Okay, apparently, I am indeed still wearing the, um, the scarf as well. So, I don't know. Still have pain, minus 35%. Let me take another aspirin. Okay, maybe it takes a while to kick in. We'll cross our fingers. All right, let's snoop around the rest of the house to see if we can find a container. There's a basement. Um, there's a way... A shrieker zombie. Fucking hell. Because... Oh, it did have curtains, but this one, the curtains are all smashed. Um, yeah, because it would be nice to, like, deny some vision. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, the blanket, right. Fire extinguisher. Let me close these windows. We've got a bunch of vehicles outside. Flatbed truck. Uh, what is this here? Closed wooden door. Good, we'll leave that. Sardines, okay. Soap bar. A dust mask. Just a little bit of mouth protection. Cardboard box of raw spaghetti. Um, we're going to leave that for now. What we got in there? Teapot. Frying pan, I think, is good because we can use it as a melee weapon, but also use it for cooking. Assuming... Okay, we're okay on capacity so far. Refrigerator that's empty. A sink that is empty. I got some hunger, some thirst. Can I, um... Can I use the sink? I mean, I can't I can't examine it to use it. <clears throat> I could examine a computer to use it. So I'm thinking that means the sink is a no-go. All right, in my inventory. I do have some water. So we might have to drink this for now. Probably bad. Uh, do I do I eat it? All right. It's like my thirst. Probably wasn't that like critical. I probably should have just waited. All right. Dark cola. Excellent. What is this thing to the north? A desk that is empty. Don't want the shrieker. Close. Close. To shriek. That would be bad. Okay. What's in the shelf? Bookcase. Bookcase. Is there nothing in it? I guess not. It would probably have told me. But I could use some books for learning. We're going to go into the basement soon. What is this? Linoleum tile. What's going on with these tiles, though? Ooh, cough syrup and stuff. Oh, I think it's a bathroom. Now, there is a command where I don't have to investigate everything directly. Um... Grab something nearby. No, that's not the one I want. List all items around the player. What key is it? It's like, it's cut off. It's not the colon. Um, cataclysm. I'm going to have to Google this. Cataclysm DDA. Uh, list items around player. What is the key for it? Loading, loading, loading. List all. It's Shift V. Oh, you see the V here? So it's list all items around the player, and it actually overrode it with the V. So Shift V lists all the things, so we know what to grab, which is nice. Now some of these have no weight. Um, so can I? I don't grab something. Comma? No. Just list things. Like, thank you for listing it, but do I stuff the move to you to pick it up? Uh, I guess so. All right. My left and right hand are getting slightly chilly. All right. Cotton balls. Oh. 24 water. Oh. Um, it's just sitting in the toilet. Right! It's sitting in the toilet. I could drink that, except I already wasted... You know, I'm already using that. Pick some nicotine gum. 
wonder if I can empty the plastic bag. Um, I think we can take the meds. I don't know if they take... Oh, they do take up volume. No, the vitamins don't. We can live without the, the uh, cop syrup. Take the vitamins because they don't have any weight or anything. Caffeine pills. Yeah. Plastic bottle of salt water? Oh, I guess it's saline. Um, no. See, we still need a container. We're moving slightly slower right now because we're overburdened. Um, let's drop some stuff from my inventory. And the rock. Okay, volume is currently good. Let's go downstairs. We still have to find a goddamn backpack or something. Something with more pockets. What is this? Oh, sofa. Pool table? Pool balls and stuff like that. We can probably use that for crafting weaponry. That's a chair. I mean, we can smash a lot of this stuff for wood. A counter. Oh, they have a bar down here. Oh, man. Tons of booze. All right, tequila, cheap wine, survivor's note. Burn, burn all. Okay, let's leave that for now. It's good to know there's paper around, though. Well, if we ever wanted booze, plus, you know, some, some drinkables. Refrigerator empty, empty, empty. But what I need is something that I can use to carry some shit in. Seriously, what's that? A sink and a... what? Oh, okay. I'm looking... Uh, drink from your hands. Uh, yes? No. Okay, so that's how you can examine something with water and then fill it. But we don't have a container for it yet. Unless I empty the, the saline bottles, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Bookcase. My head is getting chilly. So, are these bookcases, they're really all empty? Ah! Oh, there. This one's got something. Lessons for the Novice Bow Hunter. So I could read this and gain some skill in bow hunting. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll try to take it. It puts me over the thing. No. All right, we'll leave it there. Seriously, though, I need a goddamn container. And I think we've scouted this whole house at this point. All right. Let's grab... The sheets. Yeah, that's way too much volume. So I can't craft with it being on the ground? Really? Or do I just not know how? These are all the things I know how to craft. And those are helpful. Maybe I can craft from the ground. I can do the sling. Can boil some clean water. No, we're going to have to check another house. And we know there's zombies out there. So I'm really unhappy. Like that shrieker zombie right there. I should have just gone out the back. What am I thinking? Close, close that door. Go through the smashed window. We're going to apply our crowbar to this to pry it open. Oh, we smashed it. Damn it. Failed. Oh! There's a zombie cop in there. Right gear and everything. No. I'm going to pull back there. If he wants to fight me while standing on uneven territory, I guess that's the best we can do. Sunlight's glare is making it hard to see, really. Yeah, we're doing less damage to him. We're taking so much head damage. Hits my eyes, but my armor protects me. Well, not much. It's just a t-shirt, but it's still better. I think we got him. Mm -mm. Butcher? Okay, no corpses. And what's in this tile? Nothing? And that's just the sheets and glass shards and stuff, right? And some extra clothes. Um, I guess we'll pick up the cash card. 
I mean, what does money have to do here? Oh, there's the uh, the corpse. It flung backwards. So he's butcher up the zombie corpse. Okay. What do we have here? A sink. Cough syrup. Iodine tablets, which I don't think take up any space. Gamma globulin shot? What the hell is that? Okay, it's concentrated antibodies prepared for intravenous injection to temporarily strengthen the immune system. Oh. Does have volume. No weight, but it does have volume. Ambien. Help us sleep. All right, that's fine. Cough syrup. Bandages. Um, yeah, can we um, can we use these bandages right away? Yeah. Probably you apply them, right? Activate bandage. Uh, use it on the head. Um, and then use it on my torso. And then, you know what? Use it again. Uh, use it on the left arm. I guess it's showing... Oh! This is what's going to happen when I apply it. I think the slash gets the full. But the head is already, like, too far gone. So there we go. I think we've improved. We wasted one on the head, is what happened there. More bandages. Oh, okay. So let's pick up more bandages. Apply E. Yeah, so the torso... There we go. I think that's improved. Like, staunch some of the bleeding. Um, apply E again. The left leg would be the other target here. Oh. I think, actually, it's been improved a fair bit there. Mm, nothing changed there. My mate, I don't have much in the way of medical skills, so. Cough syrup. Emergency oxygen plant. Interesting. Toilet there. And then the bathtub. And some nicotine gum. Um, oh, and a towel. Nicotine gum looks to be free. With the towel there, can I... I can probably butcher the towel. Getting a rag. Alright. Oh, vitamins. Yeah. Should probably, like, use some vitamins. Right? Just for the sake of argument. Nom, 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 nom. Take some vitamins. Okay. Um, I really, 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 really need a backpack still. I mean, there's probably other things. No, no, clothes, clothes. And that's a bed with a pillow and a downfilled blanket. These are all things I can use for something. Um, what is this? Light jacket. Because some of my stuff is getting torn up, right? My long sleeve shirt. Let's go ahead and drop the long sleeve shirt. Yeah, I'm hearing sound. I think a zombie is, like, buzzing around in there. Um, put on a polo shirt. And then wear it. Where is it? C. Wear. All right. Can't afford any more head damage, but let's go ahead and... Uh... There's the zombie. What do we got? Decayed zombie. That Well, that's a good sign. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference. No, let's just fight him here. Fails to penetrate my armor. Nice. Fails to penetrate my armor. Nice. Smash the hell out of him. Oh, it bites my right hand. I did crit him for 22, though. Okay. Do I have any more bandages? No. Let's, uh, butcher the zombie up. And what do we have here? Uh, scissors. That's probably handy for crafting, right? Can cut things up into rags. All right, that's good. What do we have here? Oh, some rubber gloves. I don't think I've got any. Yes, I'm going to put on the rubber gloves. Oh, that encumbers my hands. Manual tasks are slow. I wonder if that hurts me in combat. Paper wrapper, a dust mask... A frying pan and a pot, I mean, that we could theoretically use to carry water, but that doesn't sound very convenient. A glass plate. A can of vegetable soup. Um, let's go ahead and eat some of our food here. Um, let's eat some Spam. Okay. Butter knife. Butter knife, and yeah, I'm carrying too much stuff, too much volume. 
Um, let's drop the flying, frying plan, pan for now. Alpha male quarterly. What the hell is that? Can be understood by beginners. Talks about hiking and survival and stuff. Oh, that's good. Uh, no, I want to pick that up. Grabber zombie. I assume he's outside, though. Root beer. A desk. Is there anything in it? No. Look in these bookcases. No. What is this? All about swords. Uh, bonus for what? Melee skills? Swords and sword fighting technique. Whatever. Let's pick that up. Okay. What's that? Solder. All right. It's good stuff, but not for us right now. Ooh, there is something in here. A dress and a blazer. Um, a blazer might have more pockets. Storage, two. Yes! So, let's grab it, put it on, and I think it did increase our volume capacity. Plus, you know, more layers for protection. Um... I don't want to read the books yet. I don't feel like I'm in a secure location. We will have to check the basement soon. Alright. Basement time. Oh, what's a guy I gotta do? This is... I mean, there's probably a way for me to, you know, get more stores easily. But I've had starts in here where you just come down... Dude is a survivalist in this house. Um, I've, I've had, you know, starts where in that first survival shelter, there's like a ton of backpacks and stuff. Cargo shorts, things like that. Survival knife of Tonfa. Tonfa has a plus two to hit bonus and does a bash of 12. Survival knife doesn't have a two hit bonus, but it's got 15 stab and four bash. And takes less move per attack. Let's grab you, wield you, and drop the crowbar. Although the crowbar can be applied to pry things over, open carefully, and quietly, which is nice. Baseball bats, plus three to hit, 19 bash. Oh. And you can use it to craft a nail bat, right, if we had some nails. Um, I mean, I don't know if, like, cut is superior to bash or whatever. Like, I don't know the combat stats in here, and I don't know if it matters if you're fighting zombies versus other critters. Um, you know what? Baseball bat probably has more volume and weight. I'll leave it. Oops. Shotgun hull. An empty hull from a shotgun around. Red dot sight and a couple more books. Well, okay. Let's leave these books, actually. This might be the safe house. Some bullets, large pistol primer, and another book on firearms. Ergonomic grip. Bullet casings, a conversion kit, a flashlight. A uh, book for close quarters fighting. I wonder if that's melee or unarmed. Ballistic mask. Now we're talking. Covers the eyes and the mouth and probably is huge protection. Yes, we're going to pick this up. And we are going to equip it. Now, I don't know if you just like overlay it on something else. Mouth is very encumbered. Running is slow. Probably because of too many things. Let's take off the um, the rider mask. Just drop it. I don't know if it matters. Pistol scope. Spare magazine. Hand press and die set for making ammunition. Great. My problem is still, I can't carry all this shit. Which is very annoying. These are all empty racks, yeah? Yeah. So, more rounds. Is this a gun? That is a gun. Uh, and a rifle. Oh my god. Well, if I want to use firearms, which I realize are loud, I've got a lot of options here. A hell of a lot of options. 
All right, where was that staircase? Still no containers. I think I'm going to have to check another house here. Through this window. Zombie child. I think that's it over here. Maybe it's a regular zombie. All right, let me pull back. I'm going to force it to fight in the window here. I'm now wielding a survival knife. Whack. 19 pierce damage. Uh, and the survival knife gets stuck in the zombie, but I yank it free. Yeah, I've got the strength for that, which is good. Pierce it for 18 damage, a critical. Yank it free. Blocking some of the damage. Does hit my head, though. And the torso. Head's taking some serious beat down. I don't think I've got any other bandages. Going for the eyes, but the armor protects me. Okay. Oh, I cut my arm on the window frame? Are you kidding me? No, I don't have my crowbar, so I'm not going to be prying open this window. So I guess I'll just smash it. Uh, we got some magazines. More books. Dark cola I'm going to hold off for now. A lighter and cola. Another book. Fairy tales. Sunglasses. Eh. I mean, I do have some eye protection, but it's good to know. Jean jacket, cowboy hat. Jean jacket does have more storage. Um, more head protection. Now, let's see if I can put it on and have it help. Uh, yes, put on the cowboy hat. Yes, put on the jean jacket. And what does that do for me? All right, more volume storage. It's amazing. You can just keep layering this stuff forever. Okay, this looks like a bathroom. First aid kits. Yes. Um, let's apply a first aid kit to my head. Okay, which I think helped to stabilize it. Um, then we're going to do it again. Going to apply it to... It looks like if I apply it to my left arm, it can improve that. Pain has dropped slightly. Okay, that's good. Saline solution. Dust mask. Cough syrup. Taylor's kit. Let's grab that. Nothing in the sink? No. We got the water and more first aid kits. Pick up the first aid kits. We could drink the water sort of directly. Yeah, I don't know if you can empty the plastic bag and use that for more storage. That might be a thing. Um, let's apply more first aid kits. Uh, wow, I can bring my head up to three. That's really good. Um, can we keep doing that? Man, first aid kits are awesome. Yeah, let's bring up the... So I guess the slash isn't bleeding. It's just like a half a box or something like that. Okay, bringing my head up to there makes me feel much, much, much better. Pain is dropping pretty substantially. All right, what else we got in the house? Okay, let me come back to that hallway. Close that window. Nothing in the bookshelf. Got a computer, but it's broken. And a desk or a table that's got nothing going on. Okay, could smash a lot of this stuff for material, but I'm not sure... If that helps. There's a grabber zombie in here. I'm just going to let it come to me. Oh, maybe it doesn't see me. That would be nice. Oh, that's outside. Close that. I'm hearing wumps from the north and northwest, so I think it is moving around. Close that. Oh, see, that little thing is the sound I hear. thought. Maybe not. Alright, what do we have over here? Low top tennis shoes. A joint. It's probably good for pain relief. I got a lighter. Winter gloves. Another lighter. And another lighter. With like 75. Imperial stout. Oh. I get thirsty and I want to numb the pain a bit. Uh, scarf. Nothing on the bookshelves. Crap. Uh, 
All right, bro. This is what a smash door, right? Maybe there it is. I should have just fought it there. All right. I should have just fought it while I was in the broken torso or broken uh, doorway. <laughs> Zombie hits me in the torso. My army protects me. Armor protects me. Um, keeps trying to grab onto me and bite me. Hasn't done any damage yet, but I'm not doing any damage to it either. Uh, my torso encumbrance. I'm just missing. Alright, my armor is doing good, but... He's ripping up all my stuff. And I'm not... I'm not actually doing anything to him, but I'm not sure... What to do about this. Also, is there a way to check what, like, my encumbrance in any particular area is? Oh, encumbrance and warmth. Oh! Interesting. So, can I move around this view? Only those categories. Really? What if I hit tab? Ah, nice. So, if I look at my torso. Oh, right here. How can I tell things? Is this my encumbrance? Melee skill minus eight. Ah, dodge skill minus eight. And they take up more movement. And where's the warmth? Is it this? So can I... I know I'm in the middle of a fight. But... Can I drop my polo shirt in the middle of a fight? Yeah, it probably takes a bunch of action. I'm just curious to see what that did for my stats. Okay, so now my torso is not as encumbered. It's still not great, but anyway. Am I doing anything to this guy? Examine him. Yeah, that doesn't help. Just swinging wildly and missing over and over and over again. Like, can I move away? Like, there's no way I can escape this guy at this point, right? I have no idea what I'm going to do. My head is uh, slowly falling apart. Is there, like, some other move? Can I, like, wrestle him? Select unarmed style. Uh, is what this key? No. Oh. No style. Keep hands free. Can't. Yeah, I don't really have a style. I don't have a martial arts. Um, I think I'm just gonna die here. Yep. There you go. Watch the last moments of life. Sure. Basically, it's just gonna give me extra flavor text or something. Okay, listen. Rip! In memory of Quill, last words. Um, stop touching me there. Survived zero days. Five kills, though. That is by far my best game to date. Um, but grabber zombies. Hmm, I wonder what I should have done there. Probably just run away right from the start. Uh, maybe impacted my melee skill a little bit less, although at the same time the body armor was protecting me from a lot of other kind of damage. I don't know, maybe it was just, was he just constricting me? Because it keeps saying, like, you know, at no point did it look like the zombie was actually hurting me, right? My army protects her, and it was always the torso, the torso. My head was taking the damage, though. I'm wondering if I was suffocating. Oh, no, he did hit my head a couple of times. Okay, so, uh, kill count, excellent. Well, there you go, there is a look at Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. A really, really, really fascinating uh, zombie survival game, um, roguelike, that has tons of depth. Um, the amount the game changes, the stuff you can do, you can learn. Um, by the end of it, you can do crazy stuff like building robots and rebuilding cars and using the cars to plow through zombies and that sort of stuff. Um, I am... I think I could use... Yeah, I could cancel tiles over here. And then we could use ASCII style, which I think actually might be helpful with this game because, and I mean, I tend to like tile sets for clarity, but what's happening here is we actually aren't gaining any extra clarity. We are losing clarity because um, 
a lot of things don't have tiles and a lot of things reuse like the zombie graphics of squirrels come on give me a break that's no good so anyway we'll try something like this see you next time folks bye bye